Right, uh, let's look at the homework 10.4, uh, problem number 6. Alright, so we want to find the area inside the larger loop and outside the smaller loop of a Lyomson, uh, r equals y, 1 half plus cosine of theta. Right, so I'm going to bring out the GeoGebra and I actually already uh, drew the picture. Right, so here, uh, this is the beginning. Right. So it goes, uh, oh, sorry, uh, it goes like this, right? So if you go increase the value of uh, theta, it's going to go here. So this is uh, theta is pi over 2, right? Then this is kind of a little bit strange. This is actually 2 pi over 3 right there. Then when it's pi, it's going to go here. Right, you can see that's a 3.14. Right, then it does kind of the same thing in the opposite order. Then it's gonna go all the way around, so two pi there. All right, so this is the picture. So I'm gonna just uh, uh, grab this picture so that I can write on it. All right, so what we want to do is uh, let's see, we want the inside the outer loop and the larger loop and the outside the smaller loop. So we're talking about uh, this region right here. All right, so this is the uh, region. So I have to shade it down here too. Boom. All right. All right. So what I'm trying, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, since uh, using a symmetry, so I'm trying to find the. Um, uh, region uh, here so I'm gonna just try to find just this part right here and uh, including the um, small loop first then I'm going to subtract the um, area here inside the smaller loop then at the end I'm gonna double it right so first we have to find the angle here. So obviously if you start from uh, say here, um, this is going to be, uh, theta is going to be zero. Right? Then uh, this point is actually a little bit tricky. So that's where the r becomes zero. So I'm going to set this guy equal to zero. So we have a one half plus a cosine of theta and set that equal to zero then subtract one half then you have a cosine of theta is equal to negative one half all right then uh, let's see cosine of theta becomes negative one half so you can see that this is going to be uh, two pi over three and also a uh, uh, four pi over 3 and so on. Alright, so the first time it hits uh, hits the origin, so theta is going to be um, uh, 3 pi, uh, 2 pi over 3. Alright, then go all the way to here, so that's when theta is going to be equal to pi, and then go back up and it's going to be here is theta is going to be 4 pi over 3 and so on. All right, so let's look at the blue region. So I'm going to call it, um, maybe I'm going to call it the A1, right? And I'm going to call this region, say, A2, right? This red, red part, right? So uh, let's find the A1. So A1, Actually, I'm going to double it. I'll go, go ahead and double it. So it's going to be 2A1 would be 2 times, right? Remember that's a 1 half, then R squared, right? So it's going to be integral. It's going to go from 0 to 2 pi over 3, right? Then R squared. So we just have to square that guy. And uh, let's see, I'm going to actually go ahead and uh, uh, compute R squared. So r squared is equal to all right, 1 quarter uh, plus uh, cosine 
of theta plus cosine squared of theta. All right, then since uh, we can write cosine squared of theta as a one half, uh, one plus cosine of two theta, uh, we can rewrite this guy as, all right, so I'm going to combine one half and one quarter, so it's a three quarter. All right, then the, you have a cosine of theta, and then you have a one half a cosine of two theta. All right, so uh, let's put that in. So you have a three over four plus a cosine of theta plus one half cosine of two theta. Uh, d theta. All right. Then let's see. Uh, two and the two cancel out. And if you find the antiderivative, so this is going to be uh, three quarter theta plus uh, antiderivative cosine is sine of theta plus uh, one half antiderivative cosine is sine of uh, two theta over. 2. Then you are going from uh, 0 to 2 pi over 3. Alright, so this is going to be equal to, alright, so 3 quarter times uh, 2 pi over 3, alright, plus uh, sine of 2 pi over 3 is square root of 3 over 2. Plus, let's say you have a one half, one half, so it's going to be one quarter, and then you have uh, let's see, sine of um, uh, four pi over three, so that's going to be actually uh, sine of uh, four pi negative. So this is going to be negative square root of three over two. All right? Then if you plug in zero, uh, it's going to be all zero, so we just get that. And then you're going to get, uh, what, uh, let's see, 3 cancel out, 3 cancels out, and 2 and 4 cancel out, 2 left over. All right. Then you're going to get, uh, let's see, so it's a pi over 2. So we have a pi over 2. And this part is going to be, let's see, uh, square root of 3 over 2 minus uh, square root of 3 over 8. So it's going to be uh, plus... 3 square root of 3 over 8. All right, so we got that part. So it's uh, uh, we got the uh, so a1 and times 2. So we got the, this part and that. All right, let's find uh, twice the a2. So twice the a2. All right, and uh, surprisingly, it's the same R function. It's just that uh, it's going to go from pi to 4 pi over 3. So it's going to be 2 times 1 half. All right, this is going to go from pi to 4 pi over 3. And exactly the same function. So 3 over 4 plus cosine of theta plus 1 half cosine of 2 theta d theta and of course the uh, antiderivative is exactly the same so I'm going to just going to copy 3 quarter theta plus sine of theta plus uh, 1 quarter sine of 2 theta then you're going from pi to uh, 4 pi over 3 All right so let's uh, type it in. All right, so you have uh, 3 over 4 times 4 pi over 3. All right, and the uh, sine of uh, 4 pi over 3 is negative square root of 3 over 2. All right, and uh, maybe I should write that as just a minus here. All right, plus uh, 1 quarter. All right, then you have a sine of 2, so it's going to be 8 pi uh, over 3. So what's 8 pi over 3? That's going to give you uh, square root of 3 over 2. And I think that's positive. All right, then what you get is going to be, all right, so we can cancel 
Uh, well, actually, sorry, I forgot to do the other part. Um, let's see. You have to do minus, right? I have to do the lower limit, right? So if you plug in uh, 3 quarter pi, right? Sine of pi is 0, uh, sine of 2 pi is 0, so that, that's the only thing that sticks. All right, so you have 3 and 3 cancel out, 4 and 4 cancel out. So you end up getting, um, if you combine pi and minus 3 quarter pi, so it's a pi over 4. All right, then we're going to have a policy, uh, so negative square root of 3 over 2 and uh, plus uh, square root of 3 over 8. So it's going to be negative 3 square root of 3 over 8. All right, so we got that. All right, then if you want to find the area that we're looking for would be right, twice the A1 minus twice the A2. All right, so uh, 2A1 is uh, pi over 2 plus 3 uh, square root of 3 over 8. And then we have to subtract uh, pi over 4 uh, minus uh, 3 square root of 3 over 8, right? So what you get is uh, pi over 2 minus pi over 4 is pi over 4. And then uh, it's going to be plus plus um, 3 square root of 8, uh, 3 over 8 plus another one, so it's going to be over 4. All right, so that's the uh, area of the region we are looking for. Right, so let's type it in. So we get, um, right, so open it up. Let's see if I can open it up. All right, so we got the, um, I'm going to just pull out the one quarter. Then I'm going to say pi plus 3 uh, square root of um, 3. And then uh, divide the whole thing by 4. Right, so submit for testing. All right, it came back and looks like we got this one correctly. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.